This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. As I mentioned before, the device is extremely simple to make and consists of only a few components. ESP32 Dev Module Microcontroller Board 2.8 inch TFT color display with IL9341 control chip and one button uh, or as in my case a metal plate connected to the specific pin of the ESP32. Now let's follow the order and method of installation of the microcontroller. First we need to install ESP32 board in Arduino ID. Uh, in your Arduino ID go to File and then Preferences. Uh, next in Additional Boards Manager you need to enter given link. And then click OK button. Now uh, open the Boards Manager. Uh, and then search for ESP32. Uh, if you have previously installed another version, it is necessary for this project to install version 2.0.4. I have previously installed 2.0.7 and now I install I will install 2.0.4 version. As for the Arduino ID, I specifically use uh, version 1815 or 1816. Next, uh, all the libraries provided in the library folder should be installed. Just to emphasize that in order to compile the code without errors, the given versions of libraries need to be installed. If you previously has had newer or older versions, they should be deleted. Uh, also in this folder there is a modified ETFT SPI library that matches the given schematic diagram. Next, the ESP file system uploader should be installed on the Arduino IDE. Uh, now I will show you how to install ESP32 file system uploader in Arduino IDE. First we need to go to the given website. And download the file esp32fs.zip. Okay, I, I have done it before. Uh, and now uh, we need to find our sketchbook location. In your Arduino ID, go to File and Preferences. Here is uh, the sp sketchbook location. In, in my case, uh, it is in the following path. Uh, we need to go to sketchbook location and create a tools folder. Documents in Arduino. Next, uh, we need to unzip the downloaded zip file into into this folder. Uh, 
Finally, we need to restart Arduino ID. Uh, to check if the plugin was successfully installed, open your Arduino ID and go to Tools. And check that you have the option ESP32 Sketch Data Upload. Uh, next, in the text file data located in the Meteo folder, we need to enter the data for the API key that we previously generated on the Open Weather Map page. Uh, now in the Arduino ID we open the meteo.ino sketch located in the folder for the same uh, with the same name, compile it and upload it to the microcontroller. If during compilation we receive a message that there is not enough space, we should select huge app in the tools partition schema. Now we finally turn on the device and certain information will appear on the screen. After some time, according to that information from the Android phone, we connect to the wireless access point with name ESP Meteo and password that is number one eight times in sequence. Now we will read that information on the screen. Ok, we read this information and now the access point is active, created and we need to connect to that access point. ESP Meteo and password. Now we are connected to ESP Metal. Next in the browser we need to type address 192.168.11.11. In these fields, we need to uh, enter the credentials from our local Wi-Fi network and with, the, with this step the installation ends. Next we will restart the device and after a certain time weather information should be appear on the display. So this is our local IP address. Uh, we are connected to our local Wi-Fi network. After a few seconds the data will be updated. Ok, so this is the main screen uh, with the basic informations. It contains a medium sized clock, a date, current weather with UV index, wind speed and direction and air pressure information, sunrise and sunset time, forecast for the next 3 and 6 hours, uh, as well as for as well as for the next four days forecast. Uh, really a lot of useful weather information of on one screen. Touching this metal plate uh, takes you to the next screen. Here we have a large clock with the date and the current weather. Then 3 hour forecast 
for next 12 hours as, as well as well as four days forecast and moonrise and moonset in uh, time. The, uh, uh, the following is a detailed forecast uh, with a three hour resolution for the next two days. So again a screen with basic information. Calendar and basic weather data again, moonrise and moonset. Graphic display of temperature, air pressure, wind and precipitation for next five days. Next, large digital clock with seven segment numbers. And with the net touch, next touch, we return to the start screen. And finally, a short conclusion. This is probably the most advanced weather station for the construction of which instructions can be found on the internet, especially if you know that the device I presented in the video is only a small part of the whole project. Also, this is a very good example of how a great device can be made with very little hardware and good software. The device is installed in a suitable box made of PVC material with a thickness of 5mm and covered with a self-adhesive colored wallpaper.